If your doctor isn't addressing your skeletal muscle health, they could be leading you to an early grave. And I am so serious about this. Most people don't realize, but muscle loss does not wait until your 70s. It's kind of like wrinkles. It starts earlier. A recent study of women aged 18 to 80 found that muscle strength and function began declining more rapidly in their 40s. Now, often a little bit early, but around the time of menopause. And it seems as if it's not just a muscle mass effect. The ability of muscles to generate force, respond to nerve signals, and recover all start to deteriorate before women even notice visible changes. Now, this is just one cross-sectional study and highlights how complex muscle mass and strength loss can be. Factors like past activity level, body composition, genetics, hormones, and aging all intersect. But what we do know for sure, muscle is worth fighting for. Here are the top three things that you can do. Number one, find ways to gradually increase the challenge of your strength workouts. Of course, optimal protein intake, aim for one gram per pound of target body weight, no less than 100 grams of protein a day. Consider anabolic interventions. Now, none of these work without you putting in the work. You don't get stronger from watching the warm up. Bottom line, muscle loss doesn't follow a calendar and it starts the moment you stop. You must protect your muscle span because hey, once it's gone, you don't just lose strength, you lose options.